now? Is that the end of the subchapter for the prologue? Well, I'm not stopping here. Do you want to save? Do! Do not! I do. I do. Yeah. All right, so we don't have to worry about a choice until, uh, until subchapter two. So let's start chapter one. Chapter one. We continue traveling down the highway for about five hours. Christ, then we finally reach the inn. It looks like you reached the woods. I don't, this does not look like an inn. Ooh. Like this. Ew, I'm beat. My ass hurts. It's kind of like a hidden village. You're right. As we get out of the car in front of the inn, Yujiro Kun is the only one who has any energy. He joyfully takes pictures with his phone. It says, because of the thick vegetation growing around the inn, it's a good location for a tourist resort. It kind of has the feeling of an unexplored region. It's been five hours since we left the village. That took more time than I thought it would. That's because the inn is deep in the mountains. Right. And finally, after all that time, makes it even worth it. Finally arriving after all that time, I should say. Should we go in now or take a walk around? I want to walk around. Then I'll just check in. Wait here for a bit. Okay. We'll put off the inn for now and decide to look around the town first. Oh, is there going to be a problem like, oh, y'all have to share one room because you showed up late. Oh, oh my gosh. Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if the village they visited was Minazzo? Min, Min, Minazzo, yeah. Is it Minasato? Yeah, Minasato? Minazzo? The fucking village from Morinatsu. That would be a hilarious crossover. I would absolutely love it if they did that. That would be... A uh, freaking amazing. The traditional houses have been kept beautifully in this area and they lead into a view that looks as if we've stumbled into another world. They've got quite an atmosphere going on here, don't they? It looks like it could be used for a scene in a movie. It's a lot like Harusu in, in that regard. That's because Harusu is so uniform. Yeah, it's so many voices, I have to fucking... Yeah, the house that looked like the one from this place was built there, it messed things up. It's okay sometimes, though. I gotta know what you mean, I miss Japanese scenery. I know, right? I guess I can understand that. We should go on a trip every time you start missing it. You have to win a grand prize every day. You still don't have confidence in me. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. As we walk down the street, the smell of alcohol comes wafting in from somewhere. Um, we look around and see the sign curtain of a sake dealer hanging down. Ah, oh, no, Jizake. Jizake. <laughs> oh, that's immature. Let's buy some. Oh, good idea. What's that? Jizake. <laughs> Jesus. It's a locally brewed, uh, brewed sake. I thought for sure you said cheese sake, and <laughs> it was like, was sake made with cheese? What the hell? You might find sake like that if you look around the world. Alright, let's go in. Hey, there it is. Woo! This is a nice looking place. It looks like a, like a Japanese Cracker Barrel type of place. <laughs> with goes discretion, we, f we each enter the sake store. A large amount of alcohol is inside. Wow. It seems to be a store aimed at tourists, as more than half of it looks like a, like local sake. Uh. As if to say, it's just the right place. Go and... Raisan ask to sample each and every brand. Good lord, it's those people. Like, oh, I'll go into an ice cream store and sample every single flavor so I get my fill of ice cream and then just fucking leave? Fuck that. Fuck you! Yeah. Do you want to try it, Sosuke? I only drink at places where it's okay for me to lose control. Well, that's an odd way of saying it, but I also agree, because I do not like the feeling of not being in control of what I'm saying or doing. Aw. Oh. There's so many kinds, huh? This one is cool looking. Let me see. The Battle of Yujiro Kun points to... Two has Ice House written on it with nice handwriting. 
You're right, it's uh, cool looking. The name has the freezer uh, feeling to it. Is that one cool? How do you read this one? Uh, kanji are uh, written, a long awaited celebration ball. Um. Kuzadama, right? You understand this? I'm not sure if I'm right. Ah, uh, the uh, other cases have Kusudam, Kusudama written on them. Sozuki Senpai is correct! Uh, so you did know. Is this a case where the kanji are being used as a phonetic symbol? I work at a hotel, so people with all sorts of names come around from, from all around the country. Kanji is so hard! Holy shit! I've gotten pretty good at predicting how they're read to some extent. Oh! Cool, you have a special skill. Well, I wouldn't call it that. Hey, you guys, we got the Jizake. <laughs> hey, look at them. Go and rise on return to us with several bottles of alcohol. Say you bought it. Say you bought it. They're going to mistake us for other customers. What? I don't understand what that means. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, why did you buy so much? <laughs> There's some for the inn and for Yamato-san. Oh, that's nice. I'm kind of impressed Go is care caring about Yamato-san. He usually talks rudely, but he can be attentive about things like that. That's nice. That's very nice of him. After taking a brief look at the houses on the street, it had, or it had already become completely dark out by the time we returned to the inn. I'm tired from that walk. I'd like to go to our room and to rest soon. That'd be nothing if you trained regularly. Are you sure you don't want to play baseball? Stop trying to get me to play baseball at every opportunity. Uh... <clears throat> well, you did do all that driving. You must be tired from that too. Oh yeah, you're right. Have a nice rest, Sosuke Senpai. Even though we all, even though all we did was ride in the car, the distance it took to get here itself was tiring. I'm sure Sosuke's fatigue is greater than ours. Is even greater than ours. Sosuke, I'll carry your luggage. Oh, thank you. Well, that's awfully nice. We finished checking in and are gathered to the room. Ours is on the second floor, and all of us are staying in the same one. Ooh. Well, mm -hmm. oh, in the same room. <laughs> oh, it's spacious. The futons are spread out over here. Oh, look at that! It's a nice room. Beyond the sliding paper door, Yuji Kun opened... Oh, what? Oh, oh, sorry. I read that wrong. My bad. The reason for spreading them out beforehand is so one of the hostesses doesn't need to come by later. It's very spacious with two rooms put together, which is what one would expect when there's five people staying here. After putting our luggage in the corner, each of us began on to relax in our preferred ways. Sosuke leans uh, down on the tatami floor, Go looks out the window, Raison begins to prepare the tea, and Yuji Goon flips through the TV channels. Ah, so relaxing. Sosuke folds a seating cushion and to use as a pillow, and is so relaxed it looks like he could fall asleep. Feeling pretty tired myself, I sit down next to Yuji Goon and sip on the tea Raison brewed for me. This is good. The warmth of the green tea spreads throughout my body. I'm surrounded by western style things in Harusu, but sitting down on a tatami floor like this isn't so bad every once in a while. Of course, I don't mean to say that I don't like Harusu's atmosphere, it's just that I enjoy this. Yeah, apparently Harusu, like the pictures of Harusu is like this German village. So it's really cool that they like, got all these Japanese pictures uh, next to all these like German pictures. It's German, Japanese, World War II, I don't know, whatever. Of course, I don't mean to say that I already said that. I guess I still have a desire for pure Japanese-style things somewhere in my mind. The long trip made us a bit sluggish, so we laze around the room for a while. Okay, let's go to the hot springs. Raisan, who I hadn't realized had already changed into his Yakata. Uh, <laughs> I remember this from... Uh, Extracurricular activities, we were just at Hot Springs with Chester. Uh, shouts with an imposing stance. What is it about him that makes him look so good in a Yahata? However, that doesn't seem to be the one came with the room. I saw you brought your own? Well, I didn't think they'd have one of my size. 
Oh, you're so well prepared. You're going to the hot springs already? I'd like to go back later, but I wanted to go before dinner, too. Dinner is about an hour from now. It certainly would be a good time to go now. I'll be go by myself, but uh, do any of you want to? I will! Me too. So, Skate, what about you? Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's not sleeping. He's faking it. If an 18 plus scene comes up and BAP! <laughs> Why is Darius even on this? I forgot. Let's try spread him up and let's put him off to like the corner. Let's let's have Yeah, there we go. <laughs> While using his the seating cushion as a pillow, Sosuke is gently breathing in his sleep. He's tired, let him sleep. He can go to the hot springs all he likes later. Yeah, and I feel bad for waking him up with the way he is now. He's faking it. He's faking it. We let Sosuke sleep alone, change into our Yakutas! And exit the room. As we do, a waitress passing by tells us that one of the private hot springs is vacant. It seems that we can reserve it at any number of times if it's empty. Um, and we're going to try to reserve one if it was vacant anyways, so we decide to take that one. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my! Ah, oh, this is nice, huh? We undress in the dressing room, open the door that has Private Hot Spring written on it. Inside is a round tub with the lights and bamboo decorations around it. There are also wooden boards to give us privacy. It's a bit small, though. Sure enough, the tub looks like it was designed to have two or three people at most. Yeah, and it's probably gonna be something happening here. It seems a bit unreasonable for four men, three of which are huge. I'm sure we'll all fit, our, uh, fit if we stuff ourselves in. Why don't we just try getting in for now? Oh my, right here. Yeah, oh my, happening here. Maybe you're right. Oh Jesus. It's, oh Jesus, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's cold just standing around, so we each get into the tub one by one. The heat from water climbs over the tip of my foot and instantly warms my body that has gone numb from the chilly wind. However, we were right about there not being enough space, but despite it being jam-packed, we all managed to get in somehow. Mmm, I knew there wouldn't be enough room. Hey, Kugo-san, please don't touch me in weird places. What? I didn't do anything! Only you would touch somewhere like that. Where were you touched? Should I have just taken a regular bath? It hap I happen to like it this way, don't you, Kugo Kun? Y yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The one touching Yuji to Kun was Rai Ha <laughs> ha! That trickster. When we're stuck together like this, he can indulge in mischief to his heart's content. Let's just relax and soak in the water for now. This is the main reason we came here, after all. I guess you're right. In the relaxed atmosphere, I take my time soaking my body in the open air bath. The cold air brushes against my upper body, but the warmth of my lower body contrasting, that is pleasant. Right, you perv! <laughs> What's wrong, Goku? Oh, I was thinking about how amazing your muscles are. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Really? I was actually thinking about them, too. <laughs> the first time I've seen Rysan. Naked. The magnificent muscles that cover his body have a, dis a feeling of massiveness to them. Like that of a thick tire. He could probably lift me with one arm. His attractive body overflows with power. I don't mean to say that I'm not proud of my own body, but I'm nowhere near your level. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't you and Yujiro Kun work out often? I'm no match for you. Weren't you the best on your team? My team wasn't the type that lifted weights. Besides me, there wasn't anyone that tried to build muscles. But you still worked out? I was a special case. Of course you were! I son said he was a special case calmly just now. But I know that special treatment was why he felt uh, cut off from his teammates. He endured the hostility from them and the discomfort all alone the whole time he played. He doesn't seem to feel bitter about it, though. Does it not bother him at all now? The body becomes larger the more you work out. Both of you have nice bodies. 
You'll be like me in no time if you keep at it. Really? Actually, I should be jealous of you two. Uh, you have something I never will. Huh? Arson points a finger at Go and Yujiru-kun's crotches. Uh, that's something you're born with. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Being told by <laughs> you that you're jealous of me feels so weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, there's something coming. Everyone's freaking out. And by that, I mean two people are freaking out. Rasen is by no means small, but Go and Yuji Kun are in a whole different league. Which one of you two is bigger? Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. What? <laughs> Go Senpai is huge, isn't he? Isn't this a good opportunity to go to compare? I'm gonna go ahead and just prematurely. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We got. I just got up. Well, it doesn't matter to me who's bigger. I'm curious. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh God! Ryson's pushing it. I still don't know he's gay. He's risking and falling out. Come on, don't. Why don't you show each other a little? Well, <laughs> you say, oh God! He's such a... He's, he's being Christian Grey right now. What the fuck? Seriously? Do it! Oh, come on, guys. Hurried by rai -san, Go and yuji kun timidly stand up and face each other. With both of the privileges dangling from their crotches, it looks like they have about the same size at first glance. What the fuck? I can't tell when you're not hard. Rison said it so casually, but it shot Go, Yujiru, and even me. Wait, that's no way! It's not like I can get hard on demand! You're right, so. How about I do anything the one asks? Will you do it then? Now Go and Yujiru clearly have different looks in their eyes! Oh my god! Yujiru, it's on! <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? You didn't do shit, and that's why I'm laughing. Both of them are suddenly willing to do it. This is because they want to hear what Rison says. With imposing stances, they both close their eyes. They're probably using their imaginations to get hard. What could they be thinking about? Rison watches them with great interest. After a short time, Go's court starts to swell. Then Yuji Kun starts to expand. Both of them steadily increase their sizes, and they become, they become, they become. They what did I take off my fucking headphones to listen to? What the fuck is happening? Of course you show up right now. Aaron's probably going to show up early before we get whatever in to show up before doing this tale. Oh, yep, there it is. There, there it is. Yep, there's this. There it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, y'all ain't seeing the shit. Oh god. Oh, of course you decided to come over right now. I'm throwing away things. <laughs> of course you are, you fucking jackass. <laughs> Ryzen stares at them with more interest than before. Going Yuji to Kun shyly put a hush put up with his gaze. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Ah oh, Jesus, this is this is precarious. Don't show Spoofy, he's innocent. Don't worry, he's on the floor. He can't see none of this. Rison stares at them with more interest than before. Go and Yujiru Kun shyly put up with his gaze. Hey, Yujiru, are you done? Uh. It's so hard. This is as big as it gets. Why are you covering your balls? There's no point in doing that now. Benja said she was looking at my erection. The embarrassment from that alone is killing me. Stop. Please at least let me hide my balls. Well, I guess that's okay. Shall we compare now? Kugo Kun, give us your commentary as well. What the fuck? Commentary? <laughs> Even though well, I. Well, first of all, y'all got your dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and coming around the red corner, it's a dick! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner! <laughs> Weighing in at two pounds! Holy Stop. shit! Oh no! <laughs> Even though I say that I'm staring at them right next to Ryzen, they're two huge corks powerfully point upwards into the open air. 
that I think about it, this might be the first time I've ever gotten a good look at Yuji Dekun's erection. By the look of things, I don't think that, uh, that there's that big of a difference. What do you think? Yeah, I think Go wins in length, but Yuji Dekun wins in thickness. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers are like, ugh. <laughs> Yujiro Kuns are so thick, you can't just go by Yu Goku's length alone. Yujiro Kun wins at ball size too, though. How can you tell with his hands covering them? I've seen them before. I remember them. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, Kuko-san. Even though I've never seen him hard before, I saw him flaccid while I first started working at the lounge. He got soaked with water and got completely naked to change clothes. I remember that. Please end my suffering. <laughs> with what's going on now, it's no longer a fond memory. It's a pretty close game. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Don't think about it too seriously. If I had to choose, I'd say Yuji Kun looks bigger. You're right. Gokun's is more than practical, but. Yujiro-kun's has the advantage in overall size. So that means... Yep, Yujiro-kun is the winner! Ha ha ha! Congratulations! I don't feel like a winner. <laughs> I lost to my kohai! I guess I should be happy, right? Come on, you can get cold or you keep standing. Get back in the water. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, we can put away... We can put away the fruit pad now. Bap! He's gone. I'll keep him on standby just in case. Prompted by Raisan, they both soak in the, in the tub once more. I wanted to look at them for a little longer, but I guess I can't be helped. So, uh, what do you want Raisan to do? Um, Banjo sent you. Mm hmm? Go Senpai is making a baseball team. If it's okay with you whenever you have the time, will you be the coach? Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I think Go did say something like like that. Mm. It would be great for them to get pointed from a former pro. I don't mind at all. I've been wanting to get involved in baseball again. Really? That's great. We did it, Go Senpai. No matter what happened, Juju Kun always thinks about Go. He was like that before I broke the poisonous fountain. Wasn't his wish to heal Go's burnt hands? He really looks up to Go as a senpai. That kind of relationship is so nice. Aww. After getting our fill of enjoyment from the open air bath, we put our yakutas back on in the dressing room and head back to our room. I'm blue, dabba dee, dabba die. I'm Eugene, I'm a guy. Hey, spoof. Hey, spoofster. Yay, it's a spoof. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, you smell bad. You smell like poopy. <laughs> the hallway was so cold before, and there's nothing... Okay. You good? The hallway was so cold before, but there's nothing to be afraid of with our bodies being warmed up from the hot spring. Right, food's coming, don't worry. In your moment. When we return to our room, it appears Sosuke has woken up and changed into a yakata and is watching TV. Oh, it's the same one as everyone else. Oh, cause they all get the ones that were provided with the room. Hey, took you long enough. Sorry, I didn't want to wake you up. It's okay, I wanted to sleep. That was the hot springs. It felt really good. We all got boners. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting in later. I'll go with you, Sosuke. Sure. It's about time for dinner. Let's go downstairs. Oh, oh, he is so ready. He is so ready for food. Oh gosh, he's so ready. He's so ready. I'm starving. Ugh. Yeah, the music is nice. We set out for the dining room and are guided to the back where a large room all hall of where a large room all for us has been prepared. Oh, isn't this one of the old hearths? Rasan sees what has been placed in the middle of the room and speaks in a joyful tone. Is that what that is? Wait, you don't know about these? Uh, they're used to stuff like heating and cooking fires in old houses. 
Wow, you know about them too. This is my first time seeing one too. It leaves quite an impression. A pedestal made for one being used by multiple people has been has been places in front of the hearth. Meat, vegetables, and a variety of other foods is on top of it. Looks like that beef is local specialty. <laughs> I know it's kind of beef local specialty. Okay, whatever. The kind of meat is local <laughs> Local specialty? They have, even have cows here? You didn't really read the pamphlet, did you? <laughs> He's the one that won the contest. It seems we, uh... Whoa, that's, again, the wrong voice. Why am I mixing these two up? It seems we eat out of the pot on top of the hearth. Ah, that's what that's for. While our curious gazes are set on the hearth, a waitress comes in and lights a fire beneath it. Even though the fire is small, it's still slightly warm. It makes me consider how important the hearth was to the people of the past. The pot begins to boil after a short while, so everybody picks up their chopsticks and begins to put meat inside it. It's been a long time since you've eaten food made by other people, hasn't it, Go? Mm -hmm. well, I guess you're right. Not since I burned my hands. You burnt your hands? Being a chef must be tough. Well, it wasn't really from being a chef. It's a long story. You'll have to play the game to really understand. Did he save a baby from a fire? No, he uh, s set his hands on fire. Why? Uh, so that the uh, restaurant would close. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a long story. Play the game. Shit. Or watch the series. You tell, I'm interested now. Mm, I'm not sure you'll believe it. Why don't you talk about it uh, over drinks later? Yeah, good idea. It'd be easier to tell with some booze in me. <laughs> really? I'm looking forward to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rai's gonna fuck with the fountain. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. It's gonna be bad. Is it ready? Seems like it. By the way, our microwave is that loud. It's ridiculous. <laughs> After eating up tons of meat, we sit around the hearth and chat for a while. Even though the hearth just has a simple flame, it has a certain charm to it that makes it hard to leave. After enjoying the hearth for nearly an hour, after we... Oh, you're dancing. Hi, Bree. Waiting for my food to be done. Oh, okay. Uh, for nearly an hour after we finished the beef, we returned to our room feeling very satisfied. I'm gonna be satisfied! As soon as we get back, Go quickly starts to open the Jizake he bought earlier, and the drinking party begins. Even Yujiro-kun chooses one, of the low one with the low alcohol content, and eventually everybody drinks the Jizake! Uh, Sosuke decides to drink in moderation this time, since he's tired. Yujiro-kun's face instantly turns red and has fallen asleep. Go tells an exaggerated version of the story about the fountain to rai -san without thinking about whether or not he's being excessive, so I occasionally interject to correct him. Fortunately, rai -san is in a state where he doesn't seriously believe Go. He seems to be happy just listening to him. Oh, let me guess. His dad was the one who made the fountain and... I don't know, some... some shit. Hey! The night, the night wears on in the room that reeks of alcohol. I become tired as well and immediately fall asleep. Even though I agreed to take a bath with Sosuke, I stood no chance of fighting my sleepiness. And that's the end of subchapter one. And the next one will be our first choice, but that will be happening not only in the next episode, but yeah, I just fucking gave it away. It'll be happening in the next episode, which means I'm ending the stream, too. Thank you all very much for joining me on this stream. Uh, went for two hours, got through the prologue, and uh, chapter one, sub-chapter one. So thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the trained-up professional speaker with the voices in my head and the squeak, and spoofy. And I say until next time, fare thee well. <laughs> He's tired. Bye, everyone!